16 News reporter Grace Griffin is live along South 2nd Avenue. Grace, what else did we learn from the coroner? Good evening, Rob and Wendy. We also learned tonight that the coroner's office had a team of about eight or so individuals out here, and they worked hand in hand with the search and recovery crews as those individuals went through the rubble, hoping to find potential survivors as well as the bodies of those who died. I have been a resident of the area for 25 years, and I really can't think of anything comparable to this in this community. Berks County Coroner John Fielding admits he's never seen anything like the explosion on South 2nd Avenue in West Reading and the death toll it left behind. Four people from Reading, 60-year-old Domingo Cruz, 30-year-old Siorki Nunez, 44-year-old Diana Cedeno, and 55-year-old Judith Lopez Moran, among the seven who died. 63-year-old Sue Halvenick of Upper Providence Township, 62-year-old Michael Brady of Marion Township, and 49-year-old Amy Sando of Ephrata in Lancaster County were also killed. Those innocent people who were cruelly taken from us remain loved and remembered. Explaining the diligence and round-the-clock effort to recover their remains. Obviously, we're a little handicapped because we don't usually remove bodies from scenes. We usually investigate the body in scene. In the case of the R.M. Palmer Company explosion, he says it had to be done. There were voids there. Uh, we could end up with more of a tragedy with inexperienced personnel poking around. Search efforts by specialized teams ended Sunday with the last recovered body. They were not viewable for the most part. Fielding's team used every tool at their disposal to identify the victims. We had to use dental records. We went out to the families of uh, folks that were missing and said, could you please send us dental, re dental records and medical records. Taking the time, Fielding says, was needed to provide families with accurate information. And I basically told them then, we can do it right or we can do it fast. Now, tonight, we also found out that Berks County District Attorney John Adams asked the coroner's office to complete autopsies on all seven individuals. Now, as the investigation into the cause of the blast continues, Coroner John Fielding says we will learn more about the manner in which they died. We're live in West Reading. I'm Grace Griffithson, 69 News.